Welcome back to the show, and we're back. There you go, Zippy. Let's start the big program tonight. My first guest is the entertainment reporter for the Herald Dispatch. If you want to find out what's going on in the tri-state, this is the man to ask. Please welcome Dave Lavender. seat my friend what an unbelievable entrance i mean only you could ride your bicycle down the hallway of course let's attribute to that to who where well, did you get the idea from course, yeah governor mansion did that uh, uh back in the day yeah, here had the, the harley day. down the hall so we thought we'd uh give some props to the governor who's been out bicycling too with his wife yeah and it's a perfect time of year for it isn't it great time of year well it's always a good time of year because you know with gas prices you know, everybody's got the gas guzzler. I got yeah. the <clears throat> guzzler. Let's get you something to drink real quick. Yeah. How long is that hallway, by the way? You started, like, down there on 20th Street and came all the way down. It's a long way. It's a long it's, hallway. It's too long. Yeah, we need some, like, oxygen in between. <laughs> so you've been riding your bike all summer. That's what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, working for the Herald Dispatch for eight years. Mm -hmm. And uh, during that time, I would try to ride my bike to work just about every day if it's not, like, just crazy rain, you know. But uh, this summer, we came back from vacation, and uh, the Honda tire was flat. So I've been riding every day. So... Uh, you know, if you, see, if you see me on my bicycle, from an aerial view, it's like a big middle finger to the oil companies. <laughs> is that what it is? A big, that's right, big that's right, yeah. And you yeah, I think applause like, from that, there you go. I think a lot, yeah, I think a lot of folks are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, a lot of th people think we're strapped and we can't do anything, but, you know, something as simple as walking or bicycling, and especially Huntington's a great city. They made really wide streets here because Cosby Huntington wanted to turn his horse around. That's exactly so right. So we can That's ride exactly our bikes, right. and, uh, and it's really a safe place to ride. I've been riding, uh, like I said, eight years here, and it's really fun. Cool. So this time of year is, is awesome for you because you've got all these different festivals, events going on. What, what's happening in our region right now? Well, it's, it's uh, really, you know, we get crazy in the fall. You know, we have, we have festivals like Huntington has bad bar names. You know, bad bar names. You know, like the Eager Beaver. You know? <laughs> okay, well, there's a... <laughs> they change over every fall. You know, but but this area's got tons of really cool festivals. And starting this next weekend, uh, down in Charleston, I was giving some props to the world's strongest man competition. Still going on. And so I'm obviously not going to be there. Because <laughs> you're here. That's why. Yeah, you here. made prior commitments. You're on up like you're not world's strongest man. That's right. So, but you know, Phil Fister, who's a Charleston firefighter, he's down there competing for the world's strongest man. And uh, it's going to wrap up on Sunday. Um, they have the plane pool at 11 o'clock at Jaeger Airport, and then going to go down to Appalachian Power Park at 7 and finish it up with the, the Atlas Stone uh, lifts. So it's really an amazing thing to see. you got ESPNs here, and they got... Uh, they got uh, folks from all over the world and mostly Europe that are competing in them. And that's cool for our region, too, to showcase what we have here and, you know, to bring, like you said, everyone, the world's strongest man, everyone is here in our region. You sure yeah. you don't want to go down and, and throw some throw some big balls around or anything like that? I don't, th I don't think so. I think I can only, like, pick up matchbox cars. I was having a hard time with my bike there, you know. <laughs> here, here's some more water. I don't know if you need that or not. Just pass that, pass that along. So, yeah, we got a lot of festivals going on. I know Barbersville's Fall Fest is coming up here pretty soon. Mothman Festival is yeah. coming up. I and mean, Let's talk about that. Yeah, that's right. It really starts next weekend, Jay. I mean, it goes crazy. We have the Mothman Festival, and, you know, uh, CBS uh, uh, Sunday Morning was here. Um, Bill Geist was here like two years ago for that. Sci-Fi Channel has been here for that. And it's really a crazy cool festival. It's next weekend on the 20th. And uh, that's the same day that we have the, the uh, Chili Championship here in Huntington. And it's the West Virginia State Chili Championship in downtown. And we actually have the world's best green chili cook, uh, Kim Mallory, mm -hmm. and her husband David is a professor here. And, of course, so you're talking about people bringing their A-game chili down to downtown Huntington next Saturday. You really, kids really don't want to miss that. Now, you're talking about next Saturday, the day before that, Friday the 19th. Do you know what Friday the 19th is? Oh, I, I probably don't even want to know. Friday the 19th, true story, is talk like a pirate day. No joke. Friday the 19th, you are allowed to talk like a pirate all day. Are you gonna Are you gonna participate in the national holiday that is talk like a pirate? I don't know. I think I'll, I'll participate in the uh, national talk like a hillbilly day. Oh, okay. Which well, is I every day for me. Oh, never know. <laughs> no, we're gonna go out. We're gonna have some fun with, with talk like a pirate day. So uh, maybe we can have you help us out a little bit. Get a little yar or whatever. Let's hear one from you real quick. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, matey, let's get to winches hey. and get some brew. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> getting the holiday started early. 
Anything else exciting going on? I mean, we've got all sorts of stuff going on in our region. Yeah, yeah. Next weekend just really kicks it off. And just real quick, we have, if you missed X-Fest, they got Rock on the River over in Ironton. And it's a bunch of the bands that were on the local stage of X-Fest. Mm -hmm. And then also, it's the world's, one of the world's biggest traditional bluegrass music festivals is over our uh, west in, in Moorhead, Kentucky at Poppy Mountain. So it's a really great uh, bluegrass festival. If you like more jam band stuff, you got Brewglass, which is over in Terra Alta. It's a nice little road trip next weekend as well. So next weekend just really starts the festival season and uh, it runs all through October. It's great festivals that we have here in the area like Bridge Day and, uh, and uh, Golly Fest as well. I tell you next what, weekend. Uh, it, this guy's the real deal. You can see him on the side of the street and say, hey Dave, what's going on this weekend? And he'll go right into it. This isn't stage or plan. He knows. He's got all of it up in his head. Dave, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah. Giving us your information. Yeah. Dave Lavender, yeah, everybody. Totally welcome, man. We'll be right back with music from Blues Crossing. A very good high school congregation.